David was uh, really fine at 17 when he slew Goliath. He slew Goliath. He was 17 years old. Then, as he became more successful in his mid-20s, now he's getting all these wives. By 30, he's got three wives. The more successful he became, the more out of control he became. I thought, what a great insight. Is that you? The more you have, the more opportunity you have, the more excuses, the more time you have, the more control you have, the more access. You're not really focusing anymore on, on, on helping. You don't even see the danger and the abuse you're causing. Y your whole life is kind of jumping around in this land of, of access. You ever thought about this? You're sitting there on the internet and you're watching this stuff and you're, you're just Googling for an hour or two at somebody that's just obviously bedroom blind. These people are all obviously bedroom blind and, and you're watching all this pornography and all this stuff and you never thought, man, what if that was my daughter? Would that be a oh that's terrible pastor how could you say that well please that's somebody's kid and you participate you pay for it, you help fund this blindness it's amazing isn't it early access and addiction then notice another thing that potentially caused us was how he managed his time how he managed his relationships how he managed his appetites how he responded to advice no one could talk to him Number six, how he was able to silence those around him. So number one, early access. Number two, how he managed his time. Number three, how he managed his relationships. Number four, how he managed his appetites. Number five, how he responded to advice the guy tried to tell him. That's Eliam's daughter. Number six, how he was able to silence those around him. Go get her for me. Nobody could stop it. I've seen that a lot. Now, this, let me say something about pastors. That's what I've seen. Nobody can tell you. Nobody can tell you. You're the man of God. Nobody can stop you. When he was confronted, when Nathan looked at him and said, Thou art the man, David did something that made him stand out above everybody else before him. Here's what he said. I have sinned. No excuses. No, I'm not going to blame anybody. And I didn't just sin against, against Bathsheba. I sinned against the Lord. This is between me and God. And I want to tell you, one of the things that will help you in fighting bedroom blindness is establish the conviction that this is not about somebody or my family. This is about me and God. It's God and I. We, I need to think about my relationship with God. I don't, I don't worry so much about, I mean, I do care about hurting Diane. I care about hurting my kids, my daughter. I care about embarrassing you. I, but, but that's not a good enough reason. In my opinion, it's just not. It's not enough to stop you. What really stops you in your tracks is when you think about my walk with God. If God can't stop me, you surely can't.